Hi. Hi. So this video comes about at the confluence of a few things. I guess the first is this new sitcom by uh, what's her name? Jane Fonda and Janis Joplin. Where Janis Joplin's character tells Jane Fonda's character to to do a vlog of herself to kind of provide herself self therapy. That's one. And the second thing is I've kind of recently discovered ASMR videos. See one thing that I find I don't think I could really bring myself to do is to do a YouTube video where the host is talking as if he's talking to a live studio audience. That's just not really who I am. Unless maybe if I have a live studio audience. That's two. The third thing is I guess I've got something to say. I was in church this morning preaching to my congregation, the, the church that I call home. And we were talking about the this woman who had a, a hemorrhagic disease for 12 years. And Jesus came by her hometown, or at least he was passing by, I don't know whether it was her hometown and she told herself if I could touch his garment I would be healed and so she simply went and touched his garment so it was a simple act a simple act that got her healed the moment she touched him Jesus said who touched me and his disciples said to him what do you mean who touched you? Everyone is thronging around you. There's this big crowd walking around you. Jesus at that time would have been like a rock star. So all the groupies are there pressing around him. And he said, who touched me? Because only one woman touched him with expectant faith. And when she touched him, power came out of him. So she did something, she talked to herself, she talked the walk, in her mind she kept saying over and over to herself, if I could just touch his garments, if I could just touch his clothes, I would be healed. She talked the walk, and then she walked the talk, a very simple thing. She just walked over to him and touched his clothes. Something simple but hard to do. And that's like everything God asks us to do is simple but hard. How hard is it to go and touch someone's clothes? It's simple. It's simple, not complicated, but it was hard for her because there were people thronging all around Jesus and she had to break through that crowd. And she was a woman with a blood disease which would have made her unclean and unfit to be going out in public. So she had to overcome that stigma and actually break the law to do that. So it was simple but hard. But she did it. She talked the walk. If I could just touch him, his clothes, I would be healed. She walked the talk. She went over and touched him. And she touched the power. Because of that, she encountered the power and she was healed. Was she special in some way that she was superhuman? No, in terms of humanity, she was just like everyone else. All the hundreds of people that were thronging about Jesus, pressing against him, touching him all over. Like you would in public transport. But she was different because unlike the other hundreds of people, she said, 
to herself over and over her self-talk. If I could just touch his clothes, I would be made well. She told that to herself over and over again. She talked that walk. And then she walked that talk. She went there and touched him. And power flowed out from him. She talked the walk. She walked the talk. She touched the power. So what are you telling yourself? That's, that's the important thing. What talk are you giving to yourself? Are you telling yourself things of possibility? Things that you can do? Things that can happen to you? If you were to just do something easy but hard, just reach out and touch him. Are you telling yourself words of possibility? That's really where most of the battle is. What talk are you telling yourself? Talk the right walk. Walk that talk. And you'll touch that power.